if you're preparing for a AWS jobs in cloud as an architect or preparing for certification that's AWS solution architect associate or professional, then you should be very well versed with AWS's well architected framework, which consists of six pillars. That includes security pillar, you have operational excellence pillar, you have reliability pillar, you have performance pillar followed by cost optimization and sustainability pillar. Now, in this first part of a six part video series, we are going to cover the security pillar. Hi, this is Atul from Team Keton Academy, where we help you in your journey to learn cloud and become expert, get certified and get a high paying job. Now, so to give you some context, this clip has been taken from our job oriented program. Now, so you might hear some references about uh, those this session, so ignore them. And towards and if you still stick uh, towards and I'm going to invite you for a free class where we take you on your journey to learn or give you a complete path on how to learn in a step by step proceed manner, including how to get certified and get a high paying job. We'll give you the entire framework or three step framework as well as what all hands on lab you should be working, doing the project work you should be doing and, and all those things. We'll talk about that towards end. Now, this is, as I said, is the first part or the next. Uh, additional five parts um, we're going to cover remaining uh, six uh, or all the six pillars of this uh, well-architected framework. So let's hear straight away to security pillar from our expert. The first pillar is the pillar of security because nowadays information which is generated out of the data which is collected from the various source is the most expensive thing a company owns. And the company is always concerned about protecting this information and the systems which are used for distributing this information. So these information and the information systems are required to be protected in a well way so that they deliver to the business needs. For this, the ability of uh, to protect the information system and the assets while de de delivering the business value, you have to think about the below strategies. The first is who is doing what. That means you should deploy a proper identity and access management solution. You should deploy proper detective control tools that means if something happens in your environment that activity should be traceable you should be able to trace what and who has done so you should be basically making use of cloud trail service of aws you should be making use of aws config you should be making use of AWS X-ray services for AWS resource monitoring, for configuration monitoring, for application usage monitoring. You have got these tools. So you should always have detective tools deployed where all the logs are being properly monitored and maintained so now we are going to understand about so this is your detective controls the next is infrastructure protection tools you should deploy them in a proper way so when i talk about the infrastructure protection it means network firewall it means your web application firewall it means your proper deployment of security groups and network access control list. It means deployment of AWS inspector service, guard duty service. It talks about the data protection. So when it talks about the data protection, that means it is talking about encryption and incident response. So the security at every level, security at which all levels, the security at user level, 
द सिक्योरिटी एट इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर लेवल द सिक्योरिटी एट डेटा लेवल If incident occurs, you should be able to do the forensics. And in case of any incident, what response should be taken so as to immediately safeguard your perimeter or your environment or your data from the attacks? So this is the pillar. So you should be now understanding about the risk assessment. In what can impose risk to your infrastructure and data? and how you can mitigate those risk is the main agenda of this particular pillar in security amazon has given you so many tools so you know that identity and access management aws session token service aws multi factor authentication aws organizations these are the services which falls under the category of identity and access management for detective controls as i said aws config aws cloud trail cloud watch and another service recently launched is x ray aws x ray service for infrastructure protection you can protect your infrastructure by inspector waf shield you can create an isolated environment by using vpc you can do a layer of caching so as to protect the origin of your data to uh, from getting directly accessed so you can use cloud front so in this way you are protecting the infrastructure for data protection you can use kms key management service which can be deployed on elastic load balancer ebs s3 and rds so in data protection we can talk about the protection of the data at rest and the protection of the data in transit and kms is the service which is used for protecting your data at rest whereas ssl and tls is the service which is used to protect your data in transit amazon gives you both and this incident response the cloud watch event or event bridge in specific are the incident response tools which are used by us so there are so many services which are given by amazon to provide security to you so when we talk about the security the security should be deployed everywhere we cannot say that because i have logged the almira i can keep my stuff open in it people used to install lockers inside the almira and moreover you cannot say that because i have installed a lock at my door everything can be left open in my house we deploy lock in fact if i go a little bit out if i am living in a society we deploy security guards at the entrance we de deploy security guard at the reception we deploy security at our door by giving cctv camera we deploy security at the door by installing locks on our door when coming inside we deploy locks on our almira inside the almira we create lockers and we deploy locks over there also so seven layer of protection i am doing when i am living in the house okay so this is how you need to also deploy security for your infrastructure at every level why do we install cameras because we need to keep a log who is accessing my resources who is entering into my house who is leaving my house that is the reason i deploy the cameras similarly when you are securing your infrastructure you should also deploy such kind of solution which could keep a track who is using what so cloud trail is the service log group is the service you should deploy security at the perimeter you should isolate your infrastructure everybody should not be able to have access to everything you should deploy security of data in transit and the security of data at rest enforce access control granularity with the least privilege that means you should create users and each user should be given only the amount of permission 
which are mandatorily required by the user for functioning not more than that consider multi factor deployment try to use managed services and always automate the security policies that means password expiry it should be automated na every 3 months the password should get expired the user should not be allowed to repeat the password the last three passwords cannot be reused all these kinds of things you should be doing so when i say security at each layer that means at perimeter you should basically follow a policy very commonly known as if you have heard about ztp zero trust policy wives always have this policy on their husbands zero trust policy right so this term has been uh, derivated from there itself women are very smart na so so the security team said that uh, like we should also deploy this thing because like data the husbands are also very vulnerable <laughs> so many must be able to you know <laughs> correlate with this thing so for just you should consider it in such way only that you should have a zero trust policy for your data in fact the internal resources of your organization should be properly screened before they get an access to the data which has been kept by your organization so that means you should be giving security at all layers you should have firewalls at the edge you should have encryption when your data is at rest you should have dos protection with aws shield you should have application protection with web application firewall everything should be there deployed properly every virtual machine every load balancer every network should be protected properly and protection is one thing but making this protection traceable that means maintaining the logs is another thing so you should be taking care of that also although you have protected your infrastructure in a very right way following all the principles of security but again th those all access which are being done on the infrastructure should be properly logged so that is also very much necessary because your resources should be traceable forensics is always important so that is very much important for an organization and moreover on top of it there should be certain automated responses which should be there in response to the security event like for an instance i will tell you suppose say there is an login attempt being made on your virtual machine from a certain public ip address and you are noticing that the login attempt is getting failed so you can create an automated policy in your infrastructure where if the login attempt is failed thrice three times then the account should be disabled like this happens in your banking environments right whenever you try to log in into the account and you are trying to log in and you enter the wrong password three times your account gets disabled and you need to reset your password so this actually protects your account against the dictionary attack on top of it what you can do is if somebody like if you want to protect a website like suppose say from a particular public ip address there is an attempt being made on the website which is getting very much related to an attack so that public ip can be blocked to get access to the website that particular public ip can get blocked so like this kind of automated responses to the security events should be configured in your application on your infrastructure it should be there right so all these things you have to keep in mind when you are deploying the security making it traceable automated response focusing on securing your system at every level 
and then automate the security best practices like password expiry and all which i discussed so these are the principles of security and when you are required to deploy these principle you have got iam identity and access management we have learned in depth about these tool you can secure your resources by creating users by deploying appropriate policy controls on it integrating your infrastructure with third party identity providers like ldap single sign on active directory that is ad you can have certificate based authentication 802.1x is the security standard in lan similarly the certificate authentication is x.9 that is all is possible so you can use these resources the federated resources for single sign on ad all these can be used for protecting your infrastructure for protecting your infrastructure you also have got these firewalls security groups and nacl in case of amazon whenever you have got an ec2 instance if you apply linux or you use windows there is always a operating system firewall that can be enabled like for linux we can enable se linux for windows we have got an os firewall always active for windows server the data which is attached to the server can be encrypted by using the keys after this security you have got another layer of security called security group so every ec2 instance has got an eni elastic network interface which is in turn associated with the security group so whatever is the incoming traffic it is first filtered by nacl which is basically a subnet level security all the machines inside a subnet will be protected by using this security then the security group and then the os firewall and then the encrypted file system so these are the various layers of security which amazon has got so the, via this we can do the infrastructure protection how does this multi layer architecture gives us protection so you know that whenever you are deploying elastic load balancer there is a security group associated if you are using an application load balancer so when the user enters his traffic is filtered by the security group associated with this load balancer if the user is allowed then the traffic is filtered by the security group associated with these front end servers in fact if this front end servers are member of a subnet then even before the security group there will be a nacl which will be taking care of the security that when the user enters after the security group of the load balancer it will be the nacl of the subnet and then the security group of your ec2 instance so if a user is allowed on this sg and is not allowed on the security group of this application server and this application server and the user instead of trying to access the web servers and via the web servers he is accessing the servers instead of following this predicted or you can say this allowed way if your user tries to access the server directly the application subnet is being tried to use or the user is trying to reach to the database subnet his access will be denied because in the security group and the nacl the traffic which is originated from this subnet is only allowed to get inside the application server and the db server it is not allowed to come from anywhere else so thus it adds a layer of security by deploying a multi layer architecture your external user is confined to the web server he cannot 
यूज द एप्लीकेशन सर्वर और द डेटा बेस सर्वर एज पर द रूल वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट एनक्रिप्शन हार्डवेयर सिक्योरिटी मॉड्यूल्स इन डेप्थ वेन वी वर स्टडिंग अबाउट द के एम एस एच एस एम मीन्स हार्डवेयर सिक्योरिटी मॉड्यूल दैट मीन्स इफ यू आर इम्पोर्टिंग द की फ्रॉम योर ओन सर्टिफिकेट अथॉरिटी देन यू कैन पुट दम इन साइड द हार्डवेयर सिक्योरिटी मॉड्यूल्स विच एट द टाइम वी हैव डिस्कस दैट दे आर फिप्स वन फोर्टी लेवल टू सर्टिफाइड so these hsms are basically dedicated hosts on which a storage is created for your keys thus it is a little bit expensive but security wise it is highly secure place to keep the keys and it has been verified and certified by a third party called fips Hey, if you like this video and would like to learn how to get a high-paying job on AWS cloud, even as a beginner, or if you're already working in cloud and would like to know how to get at least 30% high minimum, then I would like to invite you for a free class that I'm doing, where we take you on the journey and give you the complete roadmap and including our three-step framework to get a high-paying job in AWS cloud. I'm also going to give you all the complete roadmap, including the hands-on lab and the project work you should be doing also the some of the common mistakes you might be doing that's stopping you from getting it your dream job whether you're applying and not struggling to get interview calls or if you're, if you're appearing in the interviews and not getting those jobs as well if you're interested go to this url k2nacadby.com forward slash aws02 it's completely free class enter your name email address our phone number and click on enroll this free class to see you in this free class well that was the security pillar one of the six pillars of uh, this well architected framework on aws now in the part two of this video series uh, we are going to talk about the operational excellence pillar so make sure you subscribe to this uh, video channel and uh, look at or maybe if you're watching this uh, next week you should probably by now you should also already have this in the playlist on operational excellence i'll see you next week about operational excellence pillar